the, the advent of, of social media and new communication channels is, is really a game changer for African grassroots organizations. If you think back 10, 15 years ago, it was almost impossible for a grassroots organization to really connect with an audience in an industrialized country unless they happen to have one really dedicated live wire energetic connection and then it would be limited to that connection's own social circle and what the efforts they could put in. Now um, there are all sorts of channels that serve as megaphones for people from the grassroots and they get their voice into conversations they never would have been in before uh, and that ranges from uh, video through Twitter, Facebook, um, our blogs, all of it is really to give a voice to these organizations. And you know, my preference would certainly be to have them speaking um, rather than I myself or my colleagues speaking, uh, and to, to, to give them the mic as much as possible. And you know, I think we're also going to see that in the past, an organization like Firelight would be a kind of hourglass between an audience in the States and grassroots organizations in Africa. And the quality of that hourglass or the, the, the flow through it would really be a measure of, of Firelight's uh, success. But now, uh, in some ways, you don't even need, or you only need that hourglass for certain things, but you don't need it for the acquaintance of the audience uh, with, with the grassroots organizations.